get it right To another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my favorite adventure series in gaming and review the final game in that series, Dreamfall Chapters. Looking back at adventure gaming was primarily on the PC as a point-and-click story with plenty of puzzles to solve. My very first game was King's Quest that was developed and released on Sierra Online in 1987. I played this game in school on an IBM PC during free periods and then actually owned the game on the Sega Master System in 1989, where I was able to play the game at home much longer and solving the puzzles along the way. I never passed the game King's Quest and was pretty frustrated with the game. Ever since then I never gave another adventure game, point and click games, real chance for a very long time. Then came a visit to Fry's Electronics in 2004, with a PC game on sale named The Longest Journey. My friend and I joked about the name as it should never end, but I was fascinated by the visuals and take on the art direction. For $9.99, I took a chance, primarily due to the great visuals that it had on the box. Boy, did this game surprise me with its lead character, April Ryan and the story was as fantastic as the visuals. I was impressed as the first game I actually sat there enjoying in a very long time of storytelling as much as I did with Final Fantasy VII on Sony's PlayStation in 1997. With the epilogue leaving a bunch of questions unanswered, I waited for the sequel and got something more with Dreamfall The Longest Journey, developed by Funcom and released by Aspire in the US in 2006. The game was released for both Microsoft Windows and Microsoft's Xbox. Not having a gaming PC at the time, I opted for an Xbox version and was not disappointed once again. With futuristic visuals and fantasy from the first game, everything was realized in 3D and starred a new heroine, Zoe Castillo, who is on her own separate quest that eventually merges with April Ryan's. A fantastic sequel but really left you hanging as Zoe is left in a coma as the story leaves you with so many questions and a cliffhanger that doesn't get answered for about eight years. Developed by Red Tread Games and released by Deep Silver, Dreamfall Chapters was released from 2014 to 2016 in episodic fashion, ranging in five books where each book is its own standalone game is a direct 3D sequel adventure game with exploration, puzzle solving, and a huge character interaction. The books that were released for Dream Fall Chapters was Book 1, Reborn, Book 2, Rebels, Book 3, Realms, Book 4, Revelations, and Book 5, Redux. Later on, it was released for a final cut on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC in 2017. The game itself started as a Kickstarter to revive the series and to complete the story that left fans wondering what happens next. This was the first Kickstarter that I ever funded for a video game and I got a lot of cool concept art as well as a soundtrack. Due to the advanced vision of the team that they wanted to express with their game and vision, the Unity Engine 4 was upgraded to Unity Engine 5 to help with the optimization and overall quality, but also push their development back a bit. Released in doses, the game itself is much more into the story and the choices you make as you play primarily as Zoe Castillo and Kian Alvane, who play big roles in the previous installment, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. I know you guys are supposed to speak. That's why we're all here. So speak. And uh, make it quick. We've met before in... We have. We keep missing each other and... We do. You don't, I'm just... what? You first, Zoe. Like April Ryan, who can move between worlds, Zoe can do the same, but in dreams, which makes her the first dreamer. The story starts with Zoe coming out of a coma and either fights to remember her battle with Wadi Corp, the ones responsible for her coma and keeping her silent, or to just lead a normal life. No matter what, 
Her past comes to haunt her as she travels again to the world of Arcadia to solve and save both worlds. Kian joins the rebels against the Azadi Empire and is expected to take them down for their plans against magical beings or others who are not like them. The story and writing is gripping as you choose different decisions that will play out in the game later on as good or bad that affects the story. The voice acting is done well to help the character along with whimsical dialogue inserted at always the right time. Character development is done quite well when you interact with characters leaving memorable moments. The threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. 24 hours. Now you're going to make me cry. That's not fair. You'll be fine, Nanu. Oh, okay, here we go. Floodgates wide open. Goodbye, Nanu. I love you. I mean, in a friendly way. I mean... Ugh, screw it. The visuals are well done and designed well to make sense of the world and there are many moments where you just pause and marvel on where you are exploring. While the environments are done so well, this is where some of the character models fall short. Most of the main characters look nice and detailed, but they do give off a plastic feel as well as the frozen unmovable hair. Some animations look a bit awkward in movement that reminds you of an old point and click game. If you are looking for action, especially for a gamer like myself, it is a story with very little for the player to do. Most of the action is exploring, puzzle solving, and fetch quests. Other than that, you truly are here for the story itself. Dreamfall Chapters gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its fantastic